Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little baby clownfish. Materials needed for this project. A crochet hook, I'll be using a 5mm. Some scissors. A sewing needle. A stitch marker. Some safety eyes. If you'd like to embroider a smile, you will need some embroidery thread. You also need some stuffing and some yarn colours. I will be using orange for the body, black for the stripes along with white. To start off we're going to do eight single crochet into the magic circle. You can use the chain two or chain three start as well for which I have tutorials on my page. To create a magic circle, we're going to get our end yarn this side and our working here. I'm going to wrap around these two fingers. We're going to grab it between the third and the second. We're going to take our hook under the first and grab that second yarn and pull up and twist. I'm going to grab that working yarn and pull through. You don't want to pull this here too tight. What we're going to do is place eight single crochet into the circle. got eight and we're just going to pull it tight. Okay. Round two is eight increases for a total of 16 stitches. An increase is placing two single crochet into the same stitch. I'll show you the first one. We're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. That is half of the stitch done. We'll go back into the same stitch Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. I'll show you the next one. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. And again. And just repeat until you have 16 stitches in total. Tight. Round three is single crochet around, so you're going to place 16 single crochet and change in the last one. So what we'll do is do 15 and I'll show you how to change in that last stitch. So that's the 15th single crochet. We're going to start the 16th, so insert, yarn over, pull through. And to do it is get our different coloured yarn and attach. So we're going to pull that through and then we're going to secure. We're going to single crochet around in black coloured yarn. You can also crochet over the yarn tail if that's how you prefer to secure. So we'll just do that single crochet. But as this is a plushie, you won't see this side. So I just prefer to tie a knot. We're just going to single crochet around and on the 16th stitch change to white. We 
insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, grab your white yarn, and attach by pulling through. I'm just going to tie a knot. Just because it can get quite tangled, I'm going to cut the yellow, the orange yarn. And we're going to single crochet round in white yarn. So again, on this one, we're going to change on the 16th stitch to black coloured yarn. So that's the 15th stitch done. What I'm going to do is start the 16th. I'm going to pull that black colour up because we just used it before. You can obviously cut the yarn and re-secure by tying. It's all personal preference. We're going to do another single crochet around row. We're going to change to orange in the 16th stitch. Just going to cut that white yarn. That's the 15th stitch complete. We're going to start the 16th, grab our orange, pull through and secure. Going to cut that black. I'm going to do another single crochet around row but we will not be changing colour at the end. We are going to insert the eyes before we start decreasing. For these safety eyes, I prefer to use these stitches to help me place them. So on this side, we're going to find our colour change and count one, two, three, four, and bring the eye in. Find our colour change and count one, two, three, four, and go in. The eyes are going between rounds two and three, so one two, three. And the other side, find our colour change, one, two, three, four, five, and bring the eyes in. So there's our colour change, one, two, three, four, five, bring it in a row and then just check. So two rows, two and three. Just check you are happy with how that looks and then you can secure. Oh, 
for row eight, I'm going to do one single crochet decrease repeated five times and then a single crochet. So we'll do the first one together, so insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. To do a decrease, you're going to combine two stitches into one. Now I'm going to show the invisible decrease method. So you've got a front loop and a back loop. Front loop, back loop. And what we're going to do is come up between them. So you're going to grab the front loop of both stitches. I'm going to insert your hook. And see it pop through. So that's the first one. We'll do that into the second. Yarn over and pull through both. Yarn over, pull through both loops. We do another single crochet and do another decrease. So go into the front two loops, yarn over, pull through both, yarn over, pull through. And just repeat until you've done this five times. And then we'll finish on a single crochet. I'm going to pull up my yarn. I'm going to add some stuffing before we start the tail. What we'll do is I'll just check that magic circle's okay before we hide the yarn tails in with the stuffing. We'll go on to round nine, which is five decrease stitches and a single crochet. We don't stuff the tail, so I'm going to make sure that any other stuffing I want to add, I do it here after this row before going on to the tail. So decrease, insert between the front and back loop of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through both, yarn over, pull through. I'll just mark that as the first stitch. So we need to do four more of these. So before that closes any smaller, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more stuff in. Pull up a loop. happy with that and we will finish our final decrease and then a single crochet The tail has started from here, so we're going to do six increased stitches. That is two single crochet into the same stitch. So we're going to place the first one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. I'll just mark that, and that is half the stitch done. We'll place another single crochet in the same stitch, and that's an increase. We'll just do this five more times for a total of six, which will give us 12 stitches.
For round 11, we're going to do single crochet round for a total of 12 stitches, but I'm going to stop after the 11th because at some point we need to switch to black and single crochet across the top to make the tail and we'll need it to place up evenly. So I'll stop on the 11th and show you how to figure that out. We're on the 11th stitch, so what I'm going to do is pull up a loop and look at the fish. So I'm going to have the fish facing me and just turn it down. And what we're going to do for row 12 is single crochet across the top with black to create this look. So we start from the bottom. So what we're going to do is figure out where we need to colour change in order to make that tail even. Some of you may need to do a couple of extra stitches, some of you may need to frog and go back one. It is all very dependent on tension. What I'm going to do is just look it up and go, I could probably do with colour changing on that stitch because if I colour change here, it'll still be orange, but it'll bring me black when I change. I'll just show you what I mean. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through, Grab our black yarn. I'm not going to secure it just yet. I'm just going to hold it down. What we're going to do is take this off and we're just going to fold it. I'm going to go through that first stitch just to check. When I fold it there, that looks pretty even to me. So I'm going to go into the stitch on the other side completely opposite you want to go through all stitches which will be six single crochet across the top through both sides and just see you're grabbing that stitch before the black yarn over and pull through both we'll just tie those together now the reason I didn't tie it was just because I wasn't 100% sure and it can be quite hard to undo yarn especially if it's chenille we're then going to go through the next stitch here. And through the next stitch on the other side. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through both. You can see that's starting to bring it in. I'm going to do, let's cut these short. And just shove them in. Go through the next two stitches, you can see like that. That's a total of one, two, three. Go through the next one, make sure you hide the yarn. Four, five, and six. The sixth one can be a bit hard, just like the first one, just with the angle. I'm going to pull up a loop and cut the yarn. Just going to take our sewing needle and just hide the yarn tail in the body. that free. To do our side fin you're going to want your fish facing that way and you're going to locate the fifth and sixth row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's between the white and the black and you want to come a stitch below the eye like that and just follow. We're going to insert our hook under this stitch here 
and we're going to attach our thin coloured yarn. We're going to chain two, but to make sure we don't pull our end yarn through, we're going to hold it to the body whilst we do a chain. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, and that's our base. We yarn over and pull through again, and that's our second chain. What we're going to do is place a half double crochet in the base chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Move that end yarn out of the way and with your fish facing towards you, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch above. So you went in here and you're just going to go up here, yarn over and slip stitch. Just pull it straight through that loop. And to cut your yarn, just leave enough to hide the yarn tails and pull up. I like to try and pull that tight, but with chenille yarn it can sometimes be a bit awkward. And then you'll hide your yarn tails in the body. Show you how to do that. Attach it to a sewing needle and you just want to take it back through the stitch it's come through. I'm just going to hide that one there. Attach that back through and bring it out the same hole. I'm just going to tie a knot. And hide it in the body. Probably shouldn't use scissors for this. Just got to be careful if you are. To do the second side fin, you're going to crochet above the eye this time. So instead of going in this way and out, your stitches would end up facing that way. So to make sure our stitches face the same way, we're just going to start over here. So we're still going to go between the same rows. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. But this time we're going to go just above the eye to make sure they're even. So we're going to turn our fish upside down. So if you look at it that way, we're just gonna go this way here. We're going to insert a hook below which looks like the other side when you think about it, but if you look there, there's the base. And we're going to pull our thin coloured yarn through, and we're going to chain two, making sure we hold the end to the body, and chain two. And to place a half double crochet in the base chain, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and then just move that end tail out of the way and you're going to go a stitch below the eye now or above the stitch you are in, depending how you hold and look at the fish. Yarn over, pull through, pull through again for a slip stitch finish. Cut your yarn, pull up, just like I showed you before, you're just going to hide those yarn tails in the body. To do the top fin, we're going to go between rows three and four. So one, two, three, four. And it's going to be basically the color between orange and black. And we want it in between the eyes evenly. I'm just gonna use my hook and line up, going under that stitch there. What we're going to do is attach our top fin colored yarn and chain one. Making sure you keep the end yarn against the body so it doesn't come through. We're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the next row back. Come under there, yarn over, pull through. Just going to pull up. 
So you have three loops on your hook. And to yarn over, insert your hook into the next row back, yarn over, pull through, and pull up. You should have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. What we're going to do is yarn over and pull through all five loops. And then we're going to chain one. Then we're going to slip stitch between the black and the orange. So insert your hook. Don't worry if it brings out fluff. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through to complete that slip stitch. And to cut our yarn and pull up. And we'll hide our yarn tails. To embroider a smile onto your clownfish, you want to attach your embroidery thread to your needle. And I'm just going to come in at the side of the face. And we're going to bring our needle out between rows one and two, just a little bit below the eye. Yep. To pull through and then just make sure I grab that thread so it doesn't come all the way through the body. And I'm just going to visually line up where I like the look of the smile to go. And I think I'm going to bring it up a stitch slightly. And we're going to go there. Just going to sew it back in. This is personal preference. I like to try and give them a bit of a cheeky smile. And when you tie your yarn, you want to make sure you don't pull this too tight as it will affect the look of the smile. I'm just going to loosely tie that and check I've not affected it. It's fine. And I'll tie a tighter knot on top. that back in and you have a little baby clownfish thank you so much for joining me on this baby clownfish tutorial i can't wait to see your little fish out in the wild